This episode of the Fab Forms is brought to you by WD-40. To see their entire product line, visit WD-40.com. I think what I want to do on this episode is start working on the sheet metal for the radiator. Got it mocked up in cardboard, trying to put it in aluminum, kind of see, see if we can make it work. You can see I got everything mocked up already. All I'm gonna do is kind of cut these loose in sections that I feel like I can make. So I don't really make these cardboard templates to get an exact pattern for the aluminum. Like it's not about making this and then cutting the aluminum out and it's gonna fit perfect. I'm gonna bend it up, it's gonna fit perfect. For me, these, these cardboard templates are more of like a proof of concept. I kind of put the idea that I've got in my head in motion, make sure that it looks and feels the way that I kind of envisioned it looking and feeling, and then Usually what I'll do is I'll just do one piece at a time in aluminum and then kind of adjust on the fly whatever I need to do to make it fit or look or act. You know, a lot of times the aluminum is going to act much different than the cardboard and so you have to kind of adjust on the fly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this lower section. I think I know what I want in this. So we're going to cut this out of aluminum, get it laid in there, and then we'll just go from there. doesn't matter what you're cutting, whether it's carbide bit cutting metal or one of these sheet metal cutters, with WD-40 makes this tool work so much better.
All right, so I got the bottom piece cut out and I'm gonna end up having to put some bends in it here and there. I'll just break it long ways there. And then I'll have a little bit of a bend right here in this crease center. But the one thing I didn't mention was that I'm using uh, 050 3003 aluminum. Uh, this is thinner than what I've been using. So the stuff on the trans tunnel and the, and the floor has been 063. It's been a little bit thicker than this. Didn't really need the thickness, didn't need the structure in this. It's gonna have so many dimensions to it that once this thing's together, it's gonna be solid as a rock. So I'm using 050. And what I wanna do is before I actually bend these, I'm gonna go in here and do some bead rolling. Nothing real fancy, probably just some large triangles. Uh, may go back and add some design later, but for now, I'm going to put those in there before we break it. Mainly because it'll be hard to get through the bead roller if it's all bent. So let's do that. We'll mark it out. I've got it kind of cleaned up. We'll mark it out and into the bead roller. Often I find myself sketching out multiple scenarios and then just kind of see which one um, which one I'm really feeling. Once I get that, a little bit of acetone and it's like a magic eraser. Let's take this Sharpie right off. Alright, so I think I've got something I'm going to be happy with. I always second guess myself because you don't really know exactly what it's going to look like until you get this stuff kind of rolled in there and bent up and then in the car. The other thing is too is you got more panels that are going to tie into this. So, you know, some of these gaps look really big to me, but as the new panel comes in, there's like a one inch flange. It's going to take up half that space. You got rivets. You got a lot going on. And so it's kind of hard to judge. But I'm just going to roll what I got and then we'll see, we'll see how it looks.
So I'm pretty happy with that. Simple. I'm gonna kind of stay with the theme of the rest of the car. Keep it pretty simple. Uh, once, once I kind of get everything done, if I want to put some kind of inlays or something in here, I can do that. Uh, I also thought about maybe doing like a Kill Fab logo right here or something. But I don't need to do it right now. I can kind of wait and uh, maybe make those pieces rivet in. Maybe do some inlays in here. I'll just see. I'll kind of see how much it needs towards the end. This uh, 050, it does kind of want to get wonky a little bit. You can kind of see that it's kind of crowned this a little bit. Uh, once we break these, should flatten it out. Gonna put a little bend here, a little bend there, a little bend on the end. So let's uh, let's do that. Well, there you go, one more panel. Check it off the list, far from done, but making progress. Not sure when I'm gonna be able to get back on this thing. I wanna get you guys some new shop videos. I wanna kinda of show you the process of moving into that. I've been kinda of dropping little Easter eggs on Instagram and some of the other social media. But soon, I wanna have full videos of just me setting up the shop, doing some of the build out, and then maybe going to how I'm planning to organize. Try to organize everything. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.